Hi everyone, it's New Jersey Garden. It is um, the middle of January and right now in New Jersey it's really cold. It's uh, in the 20s, um, around 20 degrees Fahrenheit and there's snow on the ground. We have about four inches of snow on the ground and it's really cold. But now is a great time to start thinking about your garden for the spring and for ordering, potentially ordering seeds and planning out your garden. So I love to plant from seeds. I started growing in my home garden about eight years ago. And as I mentioned in other videos, I've started buying plants from local big box stores that we have here like Lowe's and Home Depot. And occasionally I would go to a garden center and almost everything I put in the ground died on me within weeks. And part of it was the soil, part of it was me being a beginner and part of it was the plants um, were, a lot of them were grown in uh, like in a, uh, in like North Carolina or some other region where they just weren't suited to this climate or this type of soil. So we're in zone 6A in New Jersey in Morris County and uh, we have very clay rocky soil and I'll get to few more videos on the soil in the spring but um, it took me a while to find you know flowers that actually would survive in the soil um, I don't like to spend a ton of money on fertilizer and compost I am just trying to work with the soil that I do have I'm on a budget so um, I like to just work with the soil I do have so as the season continues, as 2018, um, you know, as the spring uh, season starts, I'll show you, you know, what seeds I've picked and why I I use certain flowers in the in the garden. Um, as many of you know, I've complained many times about the deer. We have a, a very bad deer um, problem in this area, and we have a, about a one acre lot, and it's tough to fence it all in. So we don't have any fencing, and I use um, just some natural deer. Um, repellent, um, which I'll show you in future videos. It's a, it's a spray, organic spray. So I ha I'm kind of limited in some regard to the the types of flowers I can grow. I grow a lot of perennials, and today I just wanted to show you some catalogs. Um, what you can do if you are interested in growing from seed, um, which I, I highly recommend, is um, you know just go on the internet and you can type in you know flower seeds or seed catalogs and. A lot of companies will give you free um, catalogs. So you just go onto their website, you find the place where it says, you know, um, contact us or catalog. And usually about 70% of the seed companies will provide their catalogs for free, which is great. I try to order 10 or 12 seed catalogs every winter and I look through them for the different types of flowers and like here, this is uh, Select Seeds. I've ordered from them before. It's free seed shipping on orders $40 or more until March 15th. So they do have pr certain promotions, and I'm on a lot of uh, mailing lists, like email lists um, for different seed companies. And there's a lot of seed companies that will um, market mostly vegetables, and I specialize in, you know, growing flowers. So, um, so... I, I highly recommend uh, this one particular company. I don't work for them. I'm just recommending them because I've had really good success with their seeds, and that's called Swallowtail Garden Seeds. They're in California, and I've just I've ordered from a whole bunch of seed companies, and for whatever reason, their seeds um, are priced very fair, and they germinate well. And that by that I mean they, um, you know, if you plant ten seeds, you you get nine or ten seedlings as opposed to one or two seedlings. Um, so I'm not going to um, bash any of these seed companies, but I've ordered from a few seed companies where I've planted a lot of seeds and I've hardly had any um, seedlings pop up. And that is also due to there's a lot of factors that are involved, like the growing conditions, the type of um, seedling mix you, that you use or, you know, lighting and, you know, how old the seeds are. There's a whole bunch of factors that go into growing from seed. And um, the next few weeks, I would love to show you my setup in the basement showing you how I start growing seeds with um, lights in the basement and how I transplant them out in the spring. But in any case, I just wanted to show you this, that you can get a lot of seed catalogs for free. Um, Swallowtail Gardens does not have, Swallowtail Garden Seeds does not have a catalog, but they have a very good website where 
if you have a deer problem like myself, you can type in deer free plants or deer resistant plants and you get a whole list of, um, of flowers that are deer resistant. And it's just a very easy to navigate website. I have ordered from Select Seeds before. Um, they have a lot of heirloom varieties and Prairie Moon Nurse Nursery is a company that specializes in um, wildflowers and like native um, native plants, which I'm trying to learn more about. Um, and I, I may be looking into ordering some seeds from here as well. And then this is a, a very big company, Harris Seeds. They have vegetable and flower seeds. Stoke Seeds is an old company. There's Eden Brothers Seeds. Um, I ordered some Dahlia bulbs from them that will be coming in March. Um, so I'll show you that. And there's just a whole bunch of, um, you know, seed companies out there. So I encourage everyone to um, consider growing flowers from seed if you haven't tried it already. And um, just wanted to let everyone know that these seed catalogs are free and in most cases. And um, it really is helpful, I think, for most gardeners to have uh, these visual catalogs to look through. Um, you learn, some of them I can show you, some of them will actually show you, you know, when to plant the seeds, um, you know, detailed information about how many seeds are in each packet, um, you know, if they need, um, obviously if they need like stratification or, um, you know, just different details about all the seeds. So it's very helpful to have these catalogs and I tend to save, save these catalogs just for references. So in any case, I wanted to show everyone what's out there and I will be ordering some seeds from Swallowtail Garden Seeds this week and when they when the seed package comes I will um, open it up and show you guys what I'm going to be planting and then in the future weeks I will be showing you all my seed trays and we'll start we'll start growing some flowers so thank you all for watching and I really appreciate all my subscribers and I hope everyone's having a nice winter thank you